Hello Poland, I'm Jason Mayhem Miller and this is my good friend Matt Horwich and uh, we are coming to you uh, from Poland. We traveled out to uh, Poznan uh, here to uh, freeze our butts off and uh, coach a seminar uh, over with the Freedom Fighters. Uh, I think it was, uh, what do you think about that Horwich? Uh, great students, inspire and educate each other. Uh, Give life our best shot. Give life our best shot. Yeah, you're God right. Bless God bless the multiverse. God bless the multiverse. Yeah, yeah. I, I think those uh, the guys there really paid attention really closely, and I don't know. I feel like uh, the uh, by the end of the day, uh, everybody uh, really uh, consumed some jujitsu and mixed martial arts knowledge. It, it was uh, it was really good. Yeah, that was a whole lot of technique. I get locked in. Yeah. If you can get if you can clear this leg, then you can. It's an advantageous position. I'm stuffing the head, and I'm kind of punching him with this, so he can't peek out either side. Punch up the hands, catch it. Knuckles on the back of the head, chin on my wrist. And then... PLMMA are great people. Uh, Merrick and everyone, uh, it was great to hang out. Um, I always love Poland, thankful to be back. Um, it was a great experience. Um, look forward to doing more business with them. The fight, um, I came up a little short on the decision and judges scorecards. I didn't have any injuries or anything. That's what we call a Polish decision. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, we're the Americans, so we kind of knew that if it was a close one, maybe, maybe, I mean, Mostra, right? Mo, 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 how do you say it? maybe? Beach Moja. Moja! We would lose then. Well, yeah, we, we came up short on that decision. But, yeah, it was a great experience. PL MMA, uh, they put on good shows, and uh, we actually got a chance to go to one of the smaller shows. It was a great time. I, I, I'm happy about uh, our new uh, partnership with PL MMA. I'm definitely considering uh, doing some fighting here in uh, Poland. Uh, I feel like there's a, a, a great fight culture here, and uh, it feels really good to be surrounded like uh, with uh, like-minded individuals. There's like uh, a lot of uh, fight culture in Poland, and uh, I can see that in the people. And, and I think that mixed martial arts is just now like kind of getting a foothold uh, here in Poland, and it's great to be a, a part of it. You know, um, you know, I, I've been doing martial arts my whole life, and and uh, to see, you know, this new economy, uh, you know, just breaking out of the middle of Europe, you know, uh, man, it's, it's really great. So what a time to be alive. And they are. Uh, we had some great conversations with the president of PLMMA, Mirian, and laughed about stupid things all night. Uh, it was a great time. So hopefully we'll be doing some more stuff with them. And yeah. Hanging out with the beautiful Polish people, sharing ideas and inspiration. How do I say the name of this place? I would say Rosebrands. If this was in America, I would be a lot more worried. But in here, I feel it's cool. But I mean, I'm expecting, I don't know, some like gorillas to break through the roof or something and like, I don't know, arrest us. I'm, I'm a little worried gorillas about this. Gorillas in Poland? Yeah, not gorillas like <laughs> gorillas. I mean, gorillas like machine guns, Corbett. Anyway, oh, yeah, like the police maybe, you know, or something. I, I don't know. As long as long, I feel pretty safe here. But at the same time, it has the vibe like, uh, I don't know, uh, this is a secret lair or something. I, I'm, I'm glad that we're, uh, we're in this. I just don't want to get in on any more lists than I'm already on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, it's just like one Facebook click away from being... An extremist group, okay? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I just, I'm trying to watch my likes on Facebook. I know the NSA follows everything I do. I didn't, uh, it's really cool. I didn't know that they had like uh, communes and stuff in Poland and in Europe. Right. Um, it's my first time ever being at one. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Lots of beautiful, interesting. What are you talking people. about? You live in my garage, Horwich. Is that in Poland, a commune? Oh, oh. I thought you said you've never <laughs> been to a commune. Never mind. Yeah, you got me there again. to what in Europe. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're here, man. And it has all the trappings of commune. They got, they got squash in the back. What the hell? 
with the current election results in America, I'm not really sure we're going back. We might just uh, start squatting here and uh, see uh, when the Polish government's going to throw us out. Come at me, bro. I dare you. I don't know about it. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what Donald Trump does. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> All right. God uh, bless the multiverse, yeah, everyone yeah. giving it their best shot. But either way, I love Poland. I mean, I could be happily ever after here if I get a farm and uh, a nice Polish girl. Live happily Wait, what ever kind of farm after. are you going to get? Uh, like some spinach and broccoli and maybe some grass-fed cows and uh, a tractor. <laughs> can I, uh, can I have a shack? Things, can like I at least have a small shack on your farm? Yeah, it could be beautiful. 